talking a little bit about one-sided rib flare and some exercises that you can do that so, or do for that. So um, when you have one rib flare, it's more common for your left rib to be the one that's flared out actually just because of the way our internal organs are. So from that anatomy, um, it's more common to have a left rib flare. You can also have both ribs flare, which basically means we want our rib cage angle. So if you start at your sternum and kind of follow your rib cage down, we want a good 90 degrees or close to 90 degree angle here. Sometimes people's ribs are flared out wide. That's a wide rib cage. Um, so, and a lot of times there we see kind of ribs flared forward and out, um, or some people have a narrow rib cage. So it's less, their angle is less than 90 degrees. And that um, is just a very, a lot of times you see um, just a very narrow rib cage ankle, tight abdominals, so um, kind of really up gripping through their upper abs, a lot of upper ab gripping there. Um, but what happens then, so you can have both ribs be flared forward, but you can also have more of a rib flare on one side. So that's what I'm going to be showing you some exercises for if you find that you have rib flare on one side. Um, commonly what we'll see is um, in postpartum women from postures such as holding your child on one side more tends to flare that rib. So if you are constantly holding your child on one side, um, that can contribute or just um, you know be part of the reason maybe why your rib flare and you're having a trouble connecting to your core and letting your diastasis heal or having pelvic floor issues. The rib cage is very important because we need our rib cage to be in good alignment for proper function of our diaphragm and our core. So when it comes to and getting the rib cage to come down and in, there are some exercises we can do to help. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple ones with the band and we're gonna be focusing on left rib flare here. So um, if you have a left rib flare, so you notice your left rib tends to flare out more. If you lay back on your back too, you might get a better feel for if you feel if one is flaring out um, more than the other. But with the left rib flare, what you wanna do is grab a band, this is a light band, you're going to pull the band, your right arm is going to come up, your left arm is going to pull down as you think of pulling that rib cage gently down and in towards your opposite hip, okay? So it's not a huge movement here, but I'm thinking, uh, I can feel my abs working to pull that left rib cage gently down and in, okay? So I don't want this. Okay, it's very gentle. You're using your abs and thinking of bringing that rib cage down and in as you pull down. So you are gonna get a little bit of movement, but it's not a big movement. Okay, no hunching and rounding, but you're thinking of just gently pulling that rib cage down and in on the left side. So left arm pulls down, right arm is going up to help with that left rib flare, okay? So then, same idea here. You're wrapping the band around your trunk and you're holding on to both ends of the band. Same thing here, we're kind of thinking of pushing and reaching to engage our serratus anterior muscle that sits on our rib cage there. Um, very important for pressing and pushing. So you are going to here, use that serratus to push and press away as you think of bringing that left rib cage down and in. Okay, so inhale, exhale, press with that serratus. Think of bringing that left rib cage down and in as you press across your body. Okay, diagonally across, not a big movement. Okay, again, we're not going like all the way like this. I'm staying pretty upright here, but you can see just a slight movement down and in and pressing through my serratus reaching as that left rib cage then comes down and in as I'm reaching there, okay? So the last thing you can do is standing, sitting, however, but you're gonna work on getting this rib cage down and in with breathing. So I'm gonna inhale on my exhale. I'm gonna follow that rib cage down and in as I'm side bending to my left side. Then I'm gonna go a little bit and I'm gonna hold it there and then I'm gonna breathe into this right side I'm gonna follow it down and in a little bit more as I side bend and flex forward a little bit. Hold, inhale, follow down, exhale. So 
and I can feel that air expanded in my right side. So oftentimes when we have a left rib flare, it's common to have right side back tightness. So by working on getting this rib down and in, we can really breathe into that right side, which can also help with some of that back tightness if that's something you're experiencing. So those are three great exercises you can do every day to target a rib flare. So if you notice you have a rib flare or you think you might, I do recommend getting assessed. Um, and so we can really take a look closer into what's going on with your rib cage and your core based on your presentation because um, sometimes if you have that rib flare, it can be um, just an added thing that we want to work on and make sure we address so that you can properly strengthen your whole core and pelvic floor um, and entire body um, and help prevent any issues with healing diastasis or um, pelvic floor dysfunction such as leaking or prolapse, things like that. We just want to make sure that our rib cage is in good alignment.